Welcome back guys to the video. If you guys want to support the overall channel in the Discord, definitely check out Patreon below in the description. There is a premium area where we talk about different stocks and best trades and there's bots that tell you what kind of things are being open, what kind of things are being closed, calls, puts. Feel free to you know copy these positions and these are pretty much tracking our mod and admin who are trading pretty well. They do some pretty safe stuff. You clearly see, for example, they bought Roku at around $6.75 per contract, and then it was like $8.25. It was honestly pretty good. A lot of these trades do make money if you guys wanna copy it. And by the way, it's, you know, $50 for this premium area. You can support the channel in the Discord, and on top of that, you get to make some money. So anyway, let's talk about Nikola Motors right now because it's down 25% again today. And it's not a fun time if you're back holding Nikola. Like Nikola is going through some pretty crazy allegations and there's a lot of crazy stuff happening. You even got the CEO stepping down afterwards. So if you look at Nikola right now, you clearly see Trevor Milton is out of the company after huge deception. For example, the Nikola One truck, which is like the prize vehicle. Apparently it doesn't run on hydrogen. In 2016, Trevor Milton said it actually runs on hydrogen and even showed a promotional clip. Apparently that promotional clip was fake and it was just the Nikola One rolling from a hill. And if you check out Nikola Motors right now, it's down 25% today. And that's kind of with Jim Cramer last night around 8 p.m. saying how investors should still sell Nikola after the resignation. But of course, this is the killing blow right here that kind of just made Nikola Motors a dead stock, which is Nikola Motors stock drops 26% after BP backs away from them. And this was a hydrogen station deal. This wasn't like a little partnership for manufacturing or a little financing partnership. This was a hydrogen station deal. And BP was about to give them that deal, but then they backed away because of the allegations. And right now the US Securities and Exchange Commission is investigating the company. I mean, this is really bad. And if you look at Nikola Motors, the whole entire company runs on hydrogen. A lot of the vehicles, the whole reason why they got so much hype in the beginning was because their motor trucks ran on hydrogen. But unlike Hylion, which runs on natural gas, and there's already natural gas stations everywhere in the country, unlike Tesla, which runs on electricity, and there's already electric stations everywhere, there's currently no hydrogen stations in the US. I mean, sure, you may find a couple here and there, but the majority of the times you can't find them. And with BP backing out of the hydrogen station deal is absolutely critical. And this is really scary because sure, if you somehow crank on these vehicles, if you don't have enough money to start making these hydrogen stations around the country, you're kind of screwed. This is the most important deal. It's kind of like if Tesla can't make electric stations, and then someone that makes electric stations backed out of the deal. That's how scary it is right now. So it's not looking really good for Nikola. I mean, today, people who bought puts were absolutely on a blast. You can see some of these puts went up like 600, 650%. A lot of money was made from the Nikola Motor Bears. And so far, that's about it. I mean, it's really crazy. Nikola Motors is kind of fraudulent in my opinion. You do have them making too many products, stretching themselves too thin. They don't have any hydrogen stations so far. No actual product, no factory, no sales, no revenue. Trevor Milton is kicked out of the company because of all this deception. You know, Jim Cramer's like, I don't like the stock either. And then this is the most critical deal. This is like, like the punch in someone's back. Hydrogen station deal is off. This is scary. Let's see what happens to Nikola Motors so far. I mean, after hours looking kind of good, 1%. If you look at the futures market right now, it's not really looking so hot for tech. But of course, I don't know. It's kind of wacky. Keep in mind that the really funny thing is with a lot of these stocks is every time when they declare bankruptcy, every time when they say something super bad, sometimes it inverses and a lot of people piled in. I'm not really sure what's going on, but thanks for watching. Comment below.